What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 18 in the math three questions that North Carolina released this past school year. This question gives us four answer choices with different types of weird functions, exponential, rational, absolute value, and trig, and asks us to find the function that does not have the set of all real numbers as its domain. Okay, so the big skill that this is testing us on is domain of functions. And for those of you who are already thinking of the answer, I will get there. I'm sure you've got the right one if your instincts are what I think they are. Um, but I'm going to actually demonstrate a little trick that the calculator can do. Because if I just type in 5 to the x minus 3 and graph it, it can show me some stuff. But it doesn't show me everything, so I can actually press second graph and it gets me my table. And essentially, for every value of x, it gives me the corresponding y value. And I can see if there's any values of x that I can't plug in. So that was choice A. If I want to try choice B, I want to put both of my expressions in parentheses. So that's x plus 1 divided by x plus 3. I graph this. And oh my goodness, what is that? Well, it appears to be coming right at negative 3. So I press second table. And at negative 3, I get an error. What's going on with that negative 3 there? Well, this goes back to the definition of domain. Domain is any number that I can plug into the function and get something reasonable or measurable out for, um, for my f of x or for my y. So for instance, if my function were y equals the square root of x, my domain would be anything from 0 to the right, or an interval notation, 0 to infinity. This would not include negative numbers, because if I tried to take the square root of negative 1, that would not give me an answer in the real numbers. And so when I see that x of negative 3 gives me an error, if I want to test that for choice B, then I actually go ahead and plug that in. So that's negative 3 plus 1 over negative 3 plus 3. Negative 3 plus 1 gives me negative 2. Negative 3 plus 3 gives me 0. And 2 divided by 0 is the reason for this error. Because we cannot divide by 0. We can't even make up a number that's the answer to it like mathematicians did with the square root of negative 1 and i. There's just no answer. So dividing by zero makes everything go haywire. So we can't plug in a number that makes us divide by zero. Therefore, choice B is the answer that does not have all real numbers as its domain because negative three is the one number that, that makes it go crazy. And therefore, if one number's out, we can't say all real numbers are its domain. 